Now, you probably know him from the TV show Modern Family, but Ty Burrell has now slipped on some fins for his latest role in Finding Dory. He plays beluga Whale Bailey, who is convinced his sonar skills are well on the fritz. Reporter Rachel Papazzoni sat down for a chat. Migration is about going home. I'm looking for my family. Are you crazy? It's too dangerous. Hands. Hands? Mommy? Ah! Holy Neptune. That is definitely not mommy. Ah! Ty Burrell, thank you so much for speaking to the ABC. You play Bailey the beluga whale and you have your own issues in this film. You, one, of, one of them is that your sonar doesn't work right. as well. Or right. perhaps you your character thinks it doesn't work, but it ends up being quite a, a vital part in the end of the film. He thinks he can't use his echolocation, but I've overheard the doctors talking. I'm right here. There's not a thing wrong with it. every word you're saying about me. What? Bailey's pretty neurotic, um, and it's it's kind of, it was very fun to play, and trying to sort of find, it's called, you know, echolocation, I think. What's echolocation? I, I'm... I know nothing about it. Well, Bailey's head is supposed to put out a call, and the echo helps him find objects far away. He's trying to get his echolocation to work. So Andrew and I played around with a million different sounds and, you know, now trying to um, really come up with that. I practice a lot in the car. I hit my head very hard out there. See how swollen it is? Your head is supposed to be big. You're a beluga. This isn't the first time you've played a character with your voice only. How do you approach a role like this, though? Because obviously you've only got that one element to get yeah, the character yeah. across. It's so technical. First of all, you have to find exactly what the voice is, and you can't do it alone. You really get a lot of feedback from, in this case, Andrew Stanton, the director, who is a genius. And then when you're in the booth, you know, you have to try to find these crazy sounds and you have to get really comfortable that at some point to find this sound or that sound, you're gonna look like you're having some sort of a seizure. You know, you're basically, you're, you basically are doing these crazy things to try to achieve this very specific sound. And uh, luckily you're, you're being taken care of by some wonderful folks. The Finding Nemo film and then subsequently this one, Finding Dory, is so well known with audiences and has been for over a decade. Yeah. When you're asked to be involved in a film that has that history, that obviously comes with a certain amount of pressure. Yeah, it does. Definitely does. I think, uh, I, I definitely felt a little bit of that. And, and so did Caitlin. Um, we both were like, wow, this is a an iconic film. We, we need to kind of make sure we really take care of this and um, don't screw it up. <laughs> it's good advice for everyone, really. Yes, it's nicely. What they, it's what they tell us every morning when we That's come right. in here on air, just you know, the one they, thing. They use stronger words. They do. Yeah, but the general gist the is there. Well done, Rachel Papazzoni, there for asking the questions.